This animation will detail how to safely use MGF's pitch and pull. Pitch and pull is a sheet piling ancillary that can be used to handle, pitch and extract steel trench sheets and sheet piles. It combines the functionality of a quick-release pitching shackle and a sheet extractor. This combined unit weighs only 18 kilograms and introduces new safety mechanisms that prevent the sheet being accidentally released. Pitch and pull has a 6-ton capacity and is suitable for MGF's KKD, FKD, ER and FLP trench sheets, in addition to interlocked sheet piles. Each pitch and pull is fitted with a 6.5-ton safety bow shackle which connects it to the excavator arm via a short single leg chain. Prior to use, pitch and pull must be inspected for damage, especially the pin lever spring mechanism, the lift lock mechanism and the index plunger. Confirm all the mechanisms work as intended. Refer to the pitch and pull user guidance for further details. MGF recommend a minimum excavator capacity of 13 ton when installing trench sheets. Ensure there is enough reach on the excavator boom to lift the sheet plus the chain length above the ground. Never drag the sheet along the floor, as this could damage the pitch and pull, always ensure the sheet is lifted clear off the ground. MGF recommend that the pitch and pull is connected to the excavator boom using a single leg swivel chain to assist with orientating the sheets. At no point should the pitch and pull be violently shaken, impacted or snatched during use. MGF pitch and pull is supplied with blue nylon rope lines to allow the sheet to release from ground level once it's been pitched. This rope is simply attached to the short length of chain connected to the pin lever. To gain access to the sheet's handling hole it is recommended to hammer a wedge underneath the top sheet. Beware of finger trap hazards. Ensuring there is no tension on the bow shackle, pull open the lever to release the pin, then line the pin over the upper handling hole in the sheet, before closing the lever. Visually inspect to confirm the pin is fully inserted through the handling hole on the sheet. MGF pitch and pull includes a lift lock mechanism, which prevents the accidental release of sheets when handling trench sheets by locking the pin lever when there is tension on the upper lifting chain. To open the pin and release the pitch and pull off from the sheet, the sheet must be grounded and the lifting chain slackened. In addition to the lift lock mechanism, there is also an optional secondary safety mechanism. This comprises of a short length of chain that connects to the pin lever arm. At the end of the chain is a metal ring to which the nylon rope line is attached. To use this, the ring is simply located over the hook on the guard frame prior to lifting the sheet. This prevents the pin lever from opening. To open the pin simply flick the rope so that the hook comes off the ring, the pin lever can then be opened again by pulling on the rope. Beware of the trailing rope to ensure it is not a trip hazard for operatives on site. The sheet can now be carefully lifted vertically off from the stack. Take care to ensure operatives are not stood within the full radius of the sheet. Never lift the sheets over people or plant. Ensure operatives are not put into a position of danger. The sheet can now be carefully lifted over to the excavation. Particular care should be taken during this operation, especially during windy conditions. Once the sheet is in position it should be carefully lowered and grounded, an operative may now approach to assist with alignment. Ensure operatives follow site-specific rams at all times during installation. The sheet should now be pitched, move the pitch and pull off to the side. The excavator arm should now gradually push the sheet into the ground. Once a sufficient tow is achieved, to ensure the sheet is stable, the pitch and pull should be removed from the sheet. Prior to approaching the sheet ensure the excavator arm is moved so that the lifting chain slackens. If the anti-snag ring has been installed, this can now be removed by simply flicking the rope vertically to unhook it. The pin on the pitch and pull can now be opened by firmly pulling on the rope. The excavator arm can now lift the pitch and pull off vertically. The process can be repeated for all the remaining sheets. For full details on installing sheets using the push and dig technique please refer to separate MGF safe system of works guidance. Once all sheets have been pitched the pitch and pull can be detached and stored somewhere safe, 
ideally under cover. When the pitch and pull is being used for extracting sheets, the pin is locked using the index plunger on the side of the unit. This device overrides the lift lock mechanism so the pin cannot be released until the index plunger is again activated. It's activated and deactivated by gently pulling the head, then rotating it 90 degrees, either clockwise or anti-clockwise, before releasing it. The pin should now be extended, simply lifting the bow shackle will now fully lock the mechanism. There is also an optional padlock securing point on the pin mechanism lever which prevents the pin being accidentally released. When extracting using the pitch and pull the nylon rope can be removed, as the pin is only ever activated and deactivated from ground level. Otherwise, it should be tied up so as to not cause a hazard on site. Connect the pitch and pull to the excavator quick hitch via the chain. The pitch and pull should now be connected to the sheet by first opening the pin lever and then lowering the jaws of the pitch and pull down over the sheet, aligning the pin with the handling hole of the sheet. Ensure there is no tension on the bow shackle to enable the pin mechanism to open and close. The pin lever should now be closed. Check that the pin is fully through the sheet handling hole and the pin lever is fully closed. The index plunger should now be activated. Inspect to confirm the plunger pin is secure. Ensure all personnel are clear of the lifting area prior to lifting the sheet out of the ground. The excavator can now lift the sheet out of the ground. Ensure it is a vertical lift and do not snatch the sheet, apply a slow and steady load. Never pull the sheet horizontally or towards the excavator cab, as this could damage the pitch and pull. Once extracted, carefully lay the sheet in a clear designated area and stack the sheets accordingly. Beware of finger trap hazards. To dislodge unwanted material stuck to the sheet, lay the sheet flat and scrape off with a spade. Never clean the sheet with a spade whilst hanging from the chain and do not drop the sheet to dislodge unwanted material. When laying the sheet on the stack it should be offset from the last sheet on the stack so the operative can remove the pitch and pull from the sheet. To remove the pitch and pull, release the index plunger and open the pin mechanism. The sheet can now be moved flush with the other sheets. Inspect the trench sheet handling hole to check it isn't elongated. If this has happened, then the pitch and pull is being overloaded and an alternative method of extraction should be adopted. Once all the sheets have been extracted the pitch and pull can be removed from the excavator and stored somewhere secure, ready for return to MGF.